the sensor array, which is very unique for this car. For the first time ever, we had a 360 degree sensor array using both radar and forward facing cameras. And for the first time, we had radar now facing to the side of the vehicle. So we had it obviously going forward out more than 1,600 feet. We looked to the rear nearly 300 feet and then to the sides. We have dual cameras facing forward to give us 3D view in this 90 degree cone and then further out a 2D view. So all these things work together. And in a sense, you imagine they're the eyes and the ears supplementing the eyes and the ears of the driver. So really great technology. So what we do is use all these sensors and all this coverage to do some pretty amazing things. And so we'll talk a little bit about that. And it's all included in our intelligent drive suite. So it's some really great technology to not only keep you safe, but keep you comfortable. Because what we found is that a stress-free driver is actually a better driver. So the, and the goal with an E-Class or really any Mercedes-Benz, when I look at it, especially a sedan where you're going to be spending a lot of time on the road, is you should arrive feeling better than when you left. And that's really the goal. So think about that when you're driving today. We want you to feel that good, and that's the job of this car if we've done it properly. But one of the things you'll see, a lot of the, some of these that you're familiar with, and one of those is new is the drive pilot. So within the drive pilot, that includes a number of new functions as well as functions that would be familiar to you. First of these is our distance pilot, Distronic. Many of you know about Distronic. That's our radar-based cruise control. Gives you guidance going forward and to the rear, so you'll notice that controls the acceleration and the braking of the vehicle. We have now steering pilot, which is, gives you the ability for lateral guidance. That's something we launched actually in the previous generation E-Class at facelift. So the E-Class always carrying this technology as a theme. Then we start with some new things. Speed limit pilot. So speed limit pilot, gives you the ability for the cruise control to automatically adjust to whatever the, the posted speeds are. It's just a, you can actually turn this on or off, it's a setting within the command system, but it gives you the ability to, if you set your cruise control on 70 miles an hour and 65 is the speed limit, it will drop to 65, then it goes to 45, and then back up to 65, it will do this all automatically if, you, if the driver chooses. So that's speed limit pilot. We have a couple of new things as well, our active lane change assistance. I think some of you, Javier, I was just looking at the video that, that, uh, that you posted earlier, uh, but it gives you the ability now to change lanes autonomously. So uh, that's something we have, to, well, why don't we just uh, move to a video, and then our active emergency stop assist. So really a neat piece of technology, and again, just making it safer, because the lane change maneuver can be something that's not always the safest thing if you don't notice what's in your blind spot. So now you have the car supporting you. It just basically looks to the left, you set your cruise control for two seconds, and the car will automatically initiate the lane change. And you can see this, you can do this, and the steering is completely automatic. It will complete the pass, and then after you complete the pass, you just put your turn signal on again, and after two seconds of having the indicator on, the car eases back into the right-hand lane. So this will do it left to right, right to left, whichever way you want to execute the pass but the car always checks blind spots, surroundings, and also for a trailing vehicle, because you can imagine there could be a vehicle in the left-hand lane that's coming up at a very high rate of speed. The car is using rear radar to check that. It's looking to the side for the blind spot, and it's looking forward for your path to execute the pass. So really a smart piece of technology. Works a lot easier than I probably explained it, so I would just encourage you to give that a shot while you're driving. Uh, 